Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage and Things. Um, real quick, so today we're gonna be doing um, barn doors. The thing with the barn doors is there's a little bit of backstory and uh, uh, we're actually doing this because of many of the projects around here, we have a dog. Now, our dog Cheyenne, um, I'll probably, real quick, cute picture. She does weird things. She seems like a real sweet dog. She is, she's awesome, phenomenal, but she does things like eat things. You know what I mean? She's a puppy and that's what puppies do. So, um, we're gonna put up some barn doors outside of looking awesome. Um, we're gonna do that for the office space and to kind of block it off now. We have a home office that's kind of, um, it doesn't have doors. It's just an open area and you just kind of walk through. So we're gonna put some barn doors up. Went to Lowe's, went to Home Depot, kind of priced things out. And they have the, the barn door kits you know that you buy from there and they got the doors well i want we the space is big it's five feet wide open so we needed either a really large door or we'd have to do one of those doubles and it was like over a thousand dollars to have them um make it because it was considered a custom door and i was thinking to myself that's a lot that's a lot so here we are we're gonna go ahead and build our own thousand dollar barn doors but we're not gonna spend a thousand no, no, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna build these um, from number two choice pine. Um, now, are they gonna be 100% exactly like you would get at the store? Absolutely not, but they're barn doors. And uh, I got the kit from Amazon. It was only like 120 bucks for the the railing and the, the casters and everything else like that. So I got the lumber. We're gonna mock it all up. We're gonna build them. We're gonna stain them. We're gonna hang them. And hopefully Ashley will come home tonight to some brand new barn doors. All right guys, so I was actually getting ready to start staining the um, the header board, but I was thinking, you know what I probably should start with is measuring. Like I said, a lot of times I don't, I do these things for the first time. Um, so I'm actually gonna do a call on Audible. I'm gonna change it up. I'm going to measure it out. I'm gonna then um, build the doors and then stain everything at once. So this here is the actual door. Excuse the mess, but so as you can see, that is our barrier to keep this one from chewing. Shay, did you chew something? <laughs> so cute. So anyway, so we're gonna measure um, this distance. Now I know this is five feet here, and then we're gonna measure and see how long our um, header board up there needs to be. So I'm gonna measure that out. And then I'm gonna build the barn doors. We're gonna have two. We're gonna have one on the right, left, one on, or, excuse me. One on the left, one on the right, <laughs> and they're gonna come over this way. So it's pretty bare, but we're gonna have two of them. Um, they're gonna open up that way. We got okay, everybody. So uh, what we're gonna do? I measured it out. We're we're just over five feet uh, for the opening. So each door is gonna be uh, over. They need to be at least two and a half feet wide. But um, we're gonna build it out of one by sixes for the vertical slots. Stack them up six wide you get about 33 inches, um, which is uh, three inches over two and a half feet. Six vertical, right? And then with that, we're gonna do two or a one by eights for a top header, a bottom header, and then we're gonna put an X in the middle so it looks like the barn door style. Um, so my next step is to go ahead and cut up the one by eights into 33 inch long straps. So that way I can attach the, ver the vertical one by sixes. So that's gonna be my first step to building the bar doors. So let's do it. Okay guys, so now we have um, four 33 inch cross pieces on. I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the doors I'm gonna lay them on the ground. I'm gonna do everything on the ground. So I'm gonna lay out the doors. They're gonna be six wide. And then I'm gonna have those cross pieces. I'm gonna screw from the back and I'm gonna pre-drill them. So that way, A, it doesn't split. And B, I'm only gonna use inch and a quarter screws. So that way, when I screw them in from the back, everything will hold together, but it won't come through the front. and It will give a real clean finish, I hope.
The, for the first cross board, it sticks out. I didn't try pre-cutting it. Now, a few things I did learn on this one go, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap. I don't know if you can see that right here, between the board goes. So I'm gonna fair up on the next door, these edges where they're just a little, hanging off just a little bit. My saw wasn't quite straight. Um, I'm just gonna fair those up before I do the cross, but I'm gonna use the skill saw. I'm gonna cut this piece off. I'm gonna cut the piece off up there. And what we're gonna end up having is a, a perfectly flushed door. So I'm gonna cut them off, square them up, um, and then uh, we'll go from there and we'll build, start the, the actual X part, which is gonna be two boards mounted on the other side to give it the X. And then we'll, I'll show you guys that one, and then I'll do the next one start to finish. need to be pull the board off and then I'm gonna cut it out and set it on so hopefully it all winds up when everything is said and done I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed um, I don't know you guys probably saw it on the time lapse um, I actually have a small uh, a small rasp plane and uh, basically I use this here to go ahead and fair up the edges so that way everything is super flush and it's got more of a finished feature to it. So I'll probably make these a little bit on the larger side. Um, I'll probably cut on, obviously on the outside, but I'll probably try to give myself an extra eighth of an inch so that way it hangs out a little bit and then I can bring it in smooth for the finish. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mark it out, cut them up, and hopefully she comes out right. these ones what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use the clamp. I'm going to clamp it right here and then I'm going to flip it on its side, drill, and put the screws in. And I'll do the same on the other side.
Now when I flush it out, I'm going to blend it so it's flush with this, this 1x6, but I'm also going to blend it so it's flush with this here bottom 1x8. And when you got a planer, it doesn't take long. Now for that edge, give it a nice little finish look. Perfect. Smooth. This one. Definitely a little bit closer on the cut edge. Ain't gonna need as much planing on this one. Pretty close. Gonna go ahead. Clamp it. Pretty good. Clamp it, screw it. Drill, then screw it. Always pre-drill your holes, guys. That way you don't. A splits. woodworker. I'm sure there's a million easier ways to do this. Um, so one of the things I learned that I'm going to do different, um, just to save me some time, I did have a little mishap when I tried to do this angle piece here um, for the door. And I glued it and I got some glue down here that I'm going to have to go ahead and sand off before I stain. I am going to put something down on the floor here. I'm thinking for the next time around or at least in the bed of the truck. So I don't get so much scuff marks on there. I think I might have some sanding to clean this off. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy the way it all came out. It's gonna look great. So I'm gonna do one more, only on time lapse, um, and knock it out real quick, and then we'll go to the stain. I just wanted to show you these um, uh, parts for the door handles that I put on the barn doors. I custom made those, I just cut those out, made them to fit out of a one by eight, kind of did this diamond shape to them. And um, did that because the hardware for the door handles that I'm gonna use is actually um, pretty pretty large. It would have gone through the one, the one, by, uh, one by six, so doubling up gives me plenty of room for that but here are the barn doors completed our next step is to stain everything so we'll get everything set up and ready for staining and we'll come back to that <laughs> 